Well, I think our whole country is going to change a lot, and not because of COVID, because of a lot of things, and mostly about the job market. What's going on now? I mean, we said we wanted to have a college degree, and that was a success to everything. It looks like that, that period is over. I mean, there's certainly uh, room for both, but I think now we're having other problems in the workforce. We don't have trained people to do the jobs that are required. I mean, it, it's the same way that when people went to start going to college because they needed that to do this. Now they need more than just uh, the intellectual capability, they need a skill capability, because all these new uh you know, jobs that are creating. We're, we're creating factories now. They're making electric cars. We're making, you know, creating factories that are making, <laughs> you know, solar panels and all this kind of stuff that we haven't done before. So we need trained people to do that. And we can't wait for four years to learn. <laughs> so they learn how to use a screwdriver. <laughs> or whatever the heck it is. And these are all high paying jobs. So this is like back in the manufacturing days, you know, back in the 60s and 50s that I grew up in, where for a high school diploma, you could make a hundred grand. And now that's happening again, but it's a different kind of uh, factory work because it's uh, white glove kind of factory work. So you don't have to uh, hang around sledgehammers and stuff like that. Maybe there's a little bit of that too. And because we need that too, we need the people to be make buildings and things like that. And we're paying them more and more. Now, here's what's going on here. You don't need a college degree anymore. <laughs> you need skill. And with six months or maybe a year or two, you could get uh, on your way to you know, $100,000 a year job, you know, and whether it's IT or healthcare or uh, business and uh, <laughs> manufacturing, all these things are booming things now, but you have to be trained. And so what the government's doing now is they're giving you money. Like you could get $30,000 a year to train for a $100,000 a year job. No longer are you going to pay some college thirty dollars or $40,000 a year to, to get trained to get a good job. No, the government gives you the money to get trained to go, uh, get a good job. I mean, that, it's, it's, it's all over. It, it's stuff we don't know. Now, there's a report I was reading about this morning, and uh, some think tank, you know, that worries about these things and tries to direct uh, the elected politicians on the kinds of laws we should have. And there's a bunch of programs they, they have in the works. They're part, partly uh, operating now, like the one that's been around for a while, and they're going to re-up it. They're going to be, you know, put more money in this. And this is training money. It's called the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. W-I-O-A. Your local career one-stop centers know about this. If you don't have a job, you can go to this program and they'll train you for six months or three years or whatever. So you get on a career path to do something and they pay you. See, that's the thing. They pay you. You don't pay them. So that's a, 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 one of the programs that will be growing a lot. The other one is the apprenticeship system. You know, like in uh, uh, countries in Europe that have apprenticeship programs, man, they don't go to college and learn that. They, they go to an apprenticeship, make damn money, good money for the rest of their life without having to sit in English class, which I hated. <laughs> so that's an apprenticeship program. That's also available at your career one stop. Uh, also, the, some, what they're going to do now is take your Pell Grant that you could only use for college and make that to do for anything. You want to go and learn how to fly an airplane. Well, you use your Pell Grant to do that and stuff like that. So you could use it for all kinds of skills, not just for... Uh, you know, getting a college degree. I mean, that's over. If, if you know how to fix my computer, I don't care what you have a degree. I just want you to fix my computer. <laughs> and that's where we're going to get more practical. I think we just got college degrees because a way for businesses not to have to think, oh, they have a degree, so they must be okay. Yeah, you really didn't know. <laughs> you didn't even know they could do the goddamn job. <laughs> so that's what. So keep an eye out for that. And where do you go? Okay, the three places. You go your local career one stop, careeronestop.org. Uh, then also you go to your local um, community college, right? Because they have programs that are not they're more than just uh classes and degrees. No, they're certifications that, you know, whether it's a uh, healthcare or um, <laughs> the uh, uh, 
uh, or even the, the skills trade. I mean, become a carpenter, electrician. Man, electricians are going to be making a hell of a lot more money. Look at all the stuff we're going to do with electricity nowadays. <laughs> no more coal. <laughs> when I grew up, I, I, I grew up in Pennsylvania. We had a coal th a cellar, just a, a room in the cellar full of coal that fed the furnace. Wow, <laughs> you won't get by with that anymore. <laughs> and, and so those two places, definitely. And then go to findhelp.org uh, and put in job training. Now, I just put it in for, I, I put in a, a city, uh, where did I put, I think, oh, Orlando. Okay, no, it was Tampa. Tampa, put in job training, Tampa, find help. 216 programs. Now these are programs, see, they pay you, they pay you transportation money, living expenses, every program is different, so you have to see what's available, you know, where you live. And there's all kinds of things, I mean, uh, even money for childcare and stuff like that, that people didn't even know, they, we need people, you know. <laughs> and so that's why we're giving you money to get the skills so we can make more money <laughs> as a country. So that's the important thing. So that's going to be coming out. So now, instead of you paying some university, you know, $30,000 a year or more, the, the government pays you $30,000 a year or more <laughs> to get those skills because we need them badly. And so that's what we do at Let's Go Help. We tell you about all these programs that nobody advertises because, and don't go to Google, please. Uh, go to these sources like 211 and, and find help uh, that... All they do is give money and give help. Google, all they do is try to get your money, don't they? <laughs> and, and you can have our money too. If you remember, uh, Let's Go Help, we give out $70,000 every month uh, uh, to our members in $500 or $1,000 or even a free laptop computer. We give out 25 of those every month. And the deadline's coming up for this month, the 30th of the month is the deadline for uh, a free computer. So we can be ready and get that laptop so you can get those grants. $30,000 to go to school. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> I hated school. <laughs>